Hi, my name is Connor, and I'm going to be quickly demoing a dynamic flowchart generating program that I wrote in Flash slash ActionScript. Uh, note that I also wrote the parser uh, for the C++ code behind this, but I'm not going to be covering that. Um, and I originally wrote this program to help with visualizing the code flow for uh, the code base that I uh, work in at my current company, but unfortunately that code's proprietary, so I'm not able to show you any of that. Um, so here I've just created a simple function um, to illustrate uh, the functionality of the program. So you can see here we have a function called function A, and inside this function we have one conditional statement, one for loop, and uh, four different function calls uh, within uh, the conditional statement and uh, you know, one inside the for loop. So keep this in mind, uh, and we're gonna skip over uh, to show what this looks like in the flowchart program. So here we are in the program, and you can see here that we have, uh, it says function A at the top, which means we're currently looking at function A. Uh, the mapping of shapes to, uh, I guess syntax is that, uh, or, or code flow, is that a rounded rectangle represents a function, a diamond represents a conditional statement, and a, a circle represents a loop. Uh, so you can hear, you can see here, just like as in the C++ code we were just looking at, um, we've got four function calls, B, C, D, and E. Whenever I hover over uh, either a function call or one of the other objects at the bottom of the screen, it will show you uh, extra information. So for functions, it shows you the class, and for conditional uh, statements and for loops, it shows you, uh, uh, I guess, what you're looping through and the conditional statement. Um, so this is great. It shows you, you know, the code flow, but the, the real power of this program is that it enables you to dynamically append any other uh, function um, flowchart to the current function that you're looking at if it exists in that flowchart. So for instance, if I want to know um, what functions, you know, what does function C look like? What functions does it call? Is it doing any loops? Um, I can click on function C and it'll automatically add function C's flowchart underneath uh, where function C is getting called. So you can see here we're calling function C, D, and E. So nothing too exciting. Um, we, can, we can click on function E in this loop, see what it's doing. It's calling two conditional statements and then A if for condition one, condition two, and then B and C uh, for condition three. Uh, so that's great. You know, you can continue to do this. Uh, for function A, we're going to get this uh, dialog that pops up because we have a same named function across two different classes. So uh, my program's not smart enough to figure out which one you want, so it asks you. So in our case, we're in class A, so we're going to hit two. Um, so that's great. Uh, another thing you can do, um, say you think you, you know, this uh, flowchart is getting too complicated and you're no longer interested in everything that happens in this conditional statement, um, you can click X or hold X and, and click on uh, anything on the screen and it and all its uh, dependents, its, you know, children objects will disappear. Um, similarly, uh, you can zoom into any function that's on your current flowchart by holding down Z and uh, clicking as well. Uh, so yeah, you can play around and it's pretty cool. Uh, and I guess the last thing I wanted to show is just you is uh, show you is uh, just a more more complicated example. Um, and so in, in order to switch to a different function, you, you hit the space bar and then you can type uh, the function name or um, multiple substrings similar to the v assist x um, add-on to you know, your IDE um, in order to get to the function that you want. Um, so here we hit zero. And this just shows you, you know, what a more complicated function would look like. So you can quickly identify that the loop uh, is, you know, does the majority of the work. And then we've got, you know, a, a very complicated sequence of conditional calls and, and other loops. And, and yeah.